DeAndre Ayton is one of the most fought over players in NBA history, yet with all the fighting, no one was really able to secure a good enough deal to trade him yet. He's now become one of the more expensive players who surprisingly can't get a deal to stick. Could Detroit and Phoenix finally come to an agreement, or have things taken a whole other turn? There's a lot to unpack here, so let's jump right into the video. But first, a reminder about our brand new giveaway. We're giving away a PS5 with a copy of NBA 2022 and Mac. Madden 22. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. First up, the fight for DeAndre. Earlier this month, there was a lot of reports indicating that the Detroit Pistons were going to use their cap space, which was created by the trade they made of Jeremy Grant, to try to get Phoenix Suns DeAndre Ayton. Phoenix can match just about any offer that's made to Ayton, but it doesn't really look like the team is prepared to pay the high price to keep him. According to Edwards III and John Hollinger, the experienced center is more likely to be playing somewhere next season. DeAndre Ayton was the number one pick in the 2018 NBA draft and wanted the Phoenix Suns to give him a five-year maximum contract. According to ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski and Brian Windhorst, that would have been worth $172.5 million guaranteed. The contract would have DeAndre Ayton in the same league as Luka Doncic and Michael Porter Jr. and Trey Young, who all earned maximum contract extensions in the previous year. However, Wojnarowski Wojnarowski claimed that the Suns actually didn't consider Ayton to be at the same level as those players and were kind of hesitant to sign him to a max contract. The Pistons, on the other hand, were eager to offer Ayton a hefty contract, especially after shedding Jeremy Grant's 2022-23 salary of roughly $21 million in a trade with the Portland Trailblazers. But things didn't really end up going the way everyone thought they would. And now, Detroit's unexpected change of heart. Considering that the Detroit Pistons are one of the only teams out there that can actually fit facilitate and afford a player like DeAndre Ayton, the deal made a lot of sense and most people thought they would go through with it. But the Detroit Pistons decided to take a totally different approach. Instead of going for DeAndre Ayton, the Pistons managed to secure themselves with two franchise players that drafted from the 2022 NBA draft. Most sources think the Detroit Pistons would rather get a new player and build around them to make them the perfect players for their team, instead of getting just one player who already has an established playing style. This was a huge twist from what everyone thought would actually happen. There was so much talk about the Phoenix Suns doing the trade with the Detroit Pistons, no one expected they would have drafted two new players. What's more is that the two players they managed to get from the 2022 NBA draft were actually considered one of the best. While many people think this is a much better deal than the one they were going for with the Phoenix Suns, some still think the Pistons would have been stronger with DeAndre on their side. Next, value of DeAndre under question. Ever since the Phoenix Suns lost in the Western semifinals this year, Ayton has been the main subject of all the trade rumors. A lot of people are wondering if Ayton was really that bad, considering he was the first pick in the 2018 NBA draft. But the Suns are only really trying to get rid of him because they can't afford him, not because he's a bad player. In fact, he was actually drafted ahead of the Luka Doncic. Doncic is considered better than Ayton now, and many people wonder what it was about Ayton that made him the first pick in the whole draft. And Ayton's not just expensive, he's worth it. First off, Ayton Ayton was a solid all-rounder with great defending skills. He was fast and athletic. During his first few matches, he was the one that was basically carrying the whole time. However, one of his biggest issues is consistency. At the start of this year, Ayton was playing really well and brought his team a bunch of success. However, during Game 7 against the Dallas Mavericks, Ayton seemed like he'd lost all of his energy. Even though Ayton has his moments every now and then, he's still a good asset to the Phoenix Suns, especially in the last two years. If the Suns do decide to deal with with Ayton, they'll probably want to sign him to a max contract and then trade him later. Phoenix will get a better deal this way than trading for reputed talents like Miles Turner, Jakob Pertl, and others. If this is real, it'll probably cause a huge change in how the club runs, given Chris Paul's tight hold on the offense in Phoenix. That's a lot to understand, but regardless of what ends up happening, both parties will need to first work out their contract position. Now, what the future holds for DeAndre. After all this, there still hasn't been a fixed trade for Ayton. None of his negotiations seem to be working out. A lot of people think that Phoenix Suns could just keep him if they managed to clear some money one way or another. Some think they could possibly trade other players like Cameron Johnson so they can free up the salary cap and keep Aiton. If the Phoenix Suns do end up doing this trade, the New Orleans Pelicans could possibly get involved. Cameron Johnson has averaged a career-high 12.5 points and 4 rebounds and has shot 46% from the field in 2021-2022. Johnson is also a decent 3-point shooter and is able to shoot 42% from long range. He 
only gets $5.8 million on a team option next year, so he's someone the Pelicans could sign without any long-term pay commitments. He's set for a significant increase the next season, but the Pels would receive a season of reasonably priced productivity from him, as well as a year to determine if he's a long-term fit. Johnson would be a pretty good addition to the New Orleans Pelicans team, given his success against them in the playoffs. He's a quality all-around athlete that would add depth and versatility to the Pels' already flexible team. He would also get the extra size and three-point shooting off the bench, something the Pelicans desperately need right now. Now, in other news, Kyrie Irving makes a decision. It seems like Kyrie Irving is no longer a free agent, as he's exercised his $37 million player option for the 2022-23 season, according to Sham Saranya of The Athletic. Throughout the whole week, Irving was connected to the LA Lakers, where he would have to take at least a $6 million mid-level exception. Although there were rumors that Irving could join the LA Lakers on a cheap $6 million deal or through a sign-and-trade, the 30-year-old will then become an actual free agent in 2023, with a trade not completely out of the question. Next, Delonte West's Concerning Video Delonte West, a former NBA player, claims he's been well and isn't done with the NBA after a viral video surfaced of him last week where he was begging for money on the streets of Virginia. It is what it is, Delonte told the Image Direct when asked how he's feeling in the aftermath of the video, according to the New York Post. The disturbing footage shows West holding up a cardboard sign before shaking hands with a man inside a car. West spent eight seasons in the NBA, representing the Boston Celtics, Cleveland Cavaliers, Seattle Supersonics, and Dallas Mavericks. During his career in the league, he earned up to $16 million in pay. The Celtics' 24th overall choice in the 2004 NBA draft has openly talked about his mental health issues, substance misuse, and bipolar illness. In 2020, he underwent treatment with the support of Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban. He allegedly relapsed and was detained outside a Florida police station last October. Lastly, LeBron James becomes NBA's first active player worth $1 billion. According to Forbes, LeBron James has officially become the first NBA player to have a net worth of $1 billion while still actively playing. According to Forbes, the LA Lakers superstar, the league's number two career scorer, and four-time NBA champion earned $121.2 million in on-court play and off-court earnings in a year. Despite the fact that the Lakers underperformed in 2021-22, and James missed the playoffs for only the fourth time in his career, he became the oldest player ever to average a total of 30 points in a season at the age of 37. James has made around $380 million in salary with the Miami Heat, Lakers, and Cleveland Cavaliers in his 19-year-long career. He made the rest from investments like the one with Beats and also has some shares in a fitness company called Beachbody. He also made around $90 million from Fenway Sports Group, where he has an estimate estimated 1% ownership. James managed to make the rest of his millions from his real estate holdings, including a huge $10 million mansion in Ohio. That's a wrap for today's video. Do you think the Phoenix Suns will trade DeAndre Ayton, or will they end up keeping him? Make sure to let us know in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more videos like this one. We'll see you next time.